Morning. Um, so, for a change, I'm posting what I think is quite a positive video. Um, I've been getting quite frustrated with feeling like I'm not really making any progress, but last night I think I maybe did. Um, so, I was struggling to sleep and I was kind of hungry. Um, I made the decision last time I restocked all of my food to leave a bag of brown rice out of the lock boxes so that if I was hungry and I wanted food I had something available that I could eat that was I was very unlikely to binge on because brown rice takes half an hour to cook so there's just no instant gratification it's like I can have food if I really need food but to bother cooking um, a load of brown rice which is not exactly super appetizing like it just yeah it seemed like a a good fallback that was pretty low risk binge wise um so anyway I had that and I haven't eaten any of it for the last couple of days but last night I was hungry so instead of trying to force myself to be hungry and I just I went and cooked some um so that felt kind of positive because it was just body wants food so I'm going to eat food um, and then I was still kind of hungry afterwards and I couldn't or I was craving food and I couldn't sleep and I have quite a strong connection in my head of insomnia being related to food um, and I definitely find if I'm hungry that I can't get to sleep. I'm not really sure if I was hungry but I it's kind of just worked up in my head the idea that I want to eat and if I eat maybe I'll sleep and it felt like a binge craving really um and I almost broke into my food I went and got one of my food bags out of the fridge and I got the pair of scissors out and I was I'd started unpicking one of the seams to get in and I stopped myself and I'm not even to no, I am sure. I'm the dialogue in my head was I don't know. It was just something that changed. So over the last few days I've I've kind of had this dialogue running of maybe this cycle, um, this kind of three day lockbox cycle is gonna be different maybe I'm going to make this cycle different and I've been thinking kind of building myself up to this time when I change over restock my food I'm not going to run the old cycle like I feel like I'm ready to kind of just do it differently and I don't actually know exactly what differently means because in the past doing it right would mean I restock everything without eating any extras, without indulging any cravings, without doing, you know, it's all like strict kind of follow the rules. But in a way, the point is that the rules are part of the problem. Um, and it's about, I think doing it right now feels like it's about finding a sensible middle ground between following rules for the sake of rules and allowing myself to just fall into binging and chewing and spitting and all you know they're kind of they're kind of both the two far ends of the spectrum and I need to be somewhere in the middle where if my body wants food I'm feeding it regardless of the rules but I'm not allowing that to then turn into a binge and a kind of and bulimic behaviors and so on so um I've gone off on a bit of a tangent but that dialogue has sort of been running like maybe this time or just determination that this time I feel ready and it's going to be different um and I think on the back of that when I started unpicking the food bags last night I just started thinking I could do this you know I, I want to open them I want to eat what's inside and then I'll just eat brown rice for my meals tomorrow because I have it and this is a kind of it's patch fixable in my old way of thinking but I have another option I could also not break into them and 
go back to bed and get to sleep without eating food I don't need and I I could make this the start of doing things differently it could be the first little kind of chip away at the embedded behaviour patterns that I'm trying to get rid of. Like, it could be an opportunity. And so I didn't. I I stopped myself, I put the food back in the fridge, and I went to bed. Um, And I did eventually get to sleep. And, yeah, it just feels... I know it's a small thing, but I cannot remember the last time that I had a really strong craving to do something with food and just didn't indulge it. Um, so it feels like a victory, which I'm pleased with. And it also feels like it's set me up for when I restock um, the lock boxes tomorrow to do it differently. And I'll see what differently looks like. But if I can restock tomorrow without kind of constantly grazing on food that I'm not eating because I'm hungry without chewing and spitting and still maintain my meal plan style of meal pattern even if that involves me having a little bit of extra food because my body wants it that's okay and it has to be guilt free but if it can just look like a normal eating day and if I can also just if I can not waste time um then I'll be pretty damn happy, I think. So let's see. But maybe this is maybe this is the start of just no. Don't even want to go there. I'm not making promises. I'm just um... no. I'm gonna leave it there. We'll see. All right.